as I get ready to take this free Shark NV681 for a whole house carpet cleaning with weighed results journey, I need to figure out how to weigh this bin. And this bin is a little on the awkward side, has this huge cutout there. But that's not actually the most awkward part, trying to weigh this thing. So let's get a little board in there. I'll zero that. And then we'll put the empty bin on it. And now you kind of see the problem. Okay, it's not wiggling anymore. So now I can't even see it. Let's see. Can I bend this down far enough? All right. I'm going to call it at 657 point... All right, you going to move on me? Eh? 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 All right, 657.6 grams. I have made a decision. Most of the time I record at 4K 30 frames per second, but I always have issues with not enough light. So sometimes the picture ends up having a bit too much jitter in it. So I'm gonna try 1080p at 60 frames a second with this amount of light that you see here and hopefully it'll be a lot smoother. So you let me know what you think. But anyway, let's get started on this whole house carpet cleaning with this free shark. Oh, and the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that the suction relief valve is completely closed so that I'm using this machine at its 100% maximum uh, value for suction and airflow.
here for swivel. This is very easy to push, even on valve closed maximum airflow and suction. So Shark has somewhat of a real winner here. Because a lot of my other Sharks that use a lot more power, they're much harder to push and I'm forced to open the valve. So it's just, it's just wasteful. So I'll be very interested to see how well this compares up against the other sharks. But I do have to realize this machine has had six years of at least moderate use by another owner. So the brush roll is definitely worn, which might be kind of a good thing for those who care about their carpet. The sharks are known to be carpet shredders. Yeah, there's a piece of lint. Let's see. That's it. So yes, it definitely has carpet stripes. Absolutely. So take a look at those. Yeah, they're a little on the extreme side, but yeah, they're they're there. All right. Let's keep going.
Whoop, long. So we're vacuuming my typical thousand square feet. Obviously this machine ugh, will do more than that, but we're trying to make things an even playing field where I give you the whole house cleaning numbers aligned to 1,000 square feet. Because some machines, let's face it, can't really go underneath much of anything. And this can go underneath some, but not everything. Large rear wheels are nice. Good for transporting room to room. It's going to rattle this, I think. <laughs> okay. On to the next room.
that does it for the second floor. That's where I have the most amount of wall-to-wall -wall carpet. And you can see, it's kind of weird. The dirt really <laughs> bunches up on one side. Yeah, see, not much on that side and an awful lot on the other side. And how about we see how much of my wife's hair has managed to make it in the brush roll. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so that's pretty typical, I guess. Let's go down to the first floor and finish up. Still have some Christmas decorations that the wife needs to put away, but you see these every year. It's like a paper mache horse. Highly flammable. It's a little sketchy going over grades. I don't know if I can make that in there. Barely. Let me out. Let me out. go ahead and move into the other room. I need to collect the cord first though. And I think I'm gonna have to move Rosie's ball there. I don't think the shark's going to handle that too well.
in there. Small nozzle. Okay, so we are done with the whole house carpet cleaning, or at least a thousand square feet of it. Let's, tow, let's go down to the lab and see what we managed to pick up. Looks like a little bit. Very excited to see what this green, well-worn shark picked up. So, for a raw bin measurement, which we stop wobbling, I'm going to call it at, no, I can't even see that. Where are we? Let's see. All right. 665.9. All right. Let's take 665.9 and subtract the original empty bin weight of 657. 0.6. And we have a raw bin pickup of 8.3 grams. Actually, that's pretty good for a bagless. So now let's have more fun and play with the dirt. That's always more fun, I suppose. Let's dump this out. Let's see what we got. All right. Here's an examination of where it went. Pretty much nothing left up here. Nothing big anyway. All right, let's see if I can get this big blob out. Well, obviously it's a lot of fibrous material. And I see I spilled a little bit there, but we'll be able to pick that up and get it counted. Don't worry about it, but that is uh, obviously a large amount of fibrous material. You can pretty much easily see that. And if I try my best to kind of separate, you can see 
it's really mostly fibrous material, isn't it? So you have some kind of large dust particles that are there. I mean, obviously, there's a big piece right there. Not a lot of fine dust, frankly. So let me get my finer scale and take a look at this. So we'll do this one, one chunk at a time. All right, I'll zero that. And again. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah, all right. So mostly fibrous material. We're looking at 6.89 grams. And then let's add in the rest. Compress that a bit. Slide that dude over. Okay. Yeah, that adds in a little bit. And now, here, I'll just do this. Yeah, I bet you were worried that I wouldn't get everything counted. And we'll put the rest in. It's not like it's going to change much. Okay, we have a total extracted amount of, wow, almost 8 grams. So in there, in the video here somewhere, I will go and put what my average is. But you know what? I'm also going to take a look at the average of what all my sharks are, because this is really what I want to compare it to. I've now had an opportunity to compare some definitely old, old sharks and also at least one brand new one in the box. So I'll have to give you not one, but two averages. But this is actually, you know, this, this is good. This is toward the, the upper range for, for sharks. And I think it's really, really close to the overall average for all my vacuums. That includes stick vacs, uprights, canisters, direct air, clean air machines, you name it. So that's, that's really nice. I'm very happy with this. And you know the most, I guess... The most pleasant thing, the most surprising thing about this is, this is the lower power model. And I like this one best because I don't have to waste a lot of airflow and suction by opening up that relief valve. So I can use all of its power. And I guess to close out the video, you can see my wife's hair. That'll come off pretty easy. Yeah, this is a shark I really enjoy. As far as like the modern series, the more modern series, I got the original series, like NV-22. This is a great machine, and my wife and I both really enjoy this quite a bit. And I have actually used this for more than one whole house cleaning. This is just the first one that I've actually measured. So if you have one of these, uh, you may actually like it a lot. So you'll have to let me know. But my wife and I really enjoy this model. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.